We're exploring all kinds of things that make BC beautiful today on The Express. The of On today's the show, on the, outside. the making of a menu at Earl's Test Kitchen. So much planning, so much energy that's put into this. Plants are growing inside it, so it's five inches deep. Living frames, the new eco technology. I think it's very important to bring green inside our, our lives. It's pretty incredible. Ancient trees in Avatar Grove. I think it's fabulous that we have trees that size. We should have more. When your brows are looking perfect, they're symmetrical, everything on your face falls together. The art of threading at Bombay Brow Bar. Look at how perfect my eyebrows look. See that and more, local expression. Welcome to the Express. I'm Johanna Ward at the Gardens of Bear Creek Park in Surrey. We've got a pretty fun fresh sheet on today's show from new food in Langley to a how to on flirty eyes to a fundraiser in Abbotsford that raises both money and spirits. He was funny, he was engaging, he had a great big grin on him. My dad was a really great guy, had lots of friends. Very honest, a genuine person. He had a really good community spirit. Friendly. Brad meant a lot to him. Giving. Enjoyable person, he's very loyal as a friend. My dad was awesome, he was a really classy guy. Give him the shirt off his back, help you out any way he could. He was an amazing husband. He was a great a dad. Great father. Miss him every day. Bye -bye. I've known Brian since we were 10, 11 years old. Uh, we played around as kids, tag, hide and seek, all that kind of stuff. I lived half a mile up there, he lived half a mile down there. Built forts, climbing trees and swinging down on the, off the maple trees. It's all the thing that country guys did. Unfortunately, he passed away way too early. Passed away at the Lionsgate Hospital Foundation. And that is why we, I held this tournament for him in, his, in Brian's honor. And that's where the money goes. Hey guys, glad to see you back. Hey. 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 Oh, fine. We're going to do great this year. Ray's dedication and devotion to this tournament just goes to show, um, you know, how awesome Ray has been throughout all this. Part of the way that we raise our money to, to give to the cancer fund is the silent auction this year, the beer sales, hats and stuff. We have 16 teams now. All this stuff here is uh, prize draws, we call it. The first nine years raised 47700 bucks that went straight to the Lionsgate Hospital Foundation. Chemotherapy, cancer treatment. This one of our prize draw table gifts. Every year we come here, we hardly get to see him. He's just like a blur, running back and forth, organizing everything. Sir, 12 for five bucks. Out, strike, two. Three balls, two strikes. Out. This annual tournament really brings the Bradner community together. Yeah. It's always been a strong uh, community. People come, the ball players, their, their families, they bring their kids. <laughs> their grandparents are here, the parents are here, the kids are here, the grandkids are here. It draws in every sort of crowd and it really brings in the community together. Oh, look at those caramelized. It's great to connect again with, with uh, people that we haven't seen for a long time. <laughs> it is a lot of hard work, but it's not so much when you think about where the money goes, and I look forward to it every year anyway. I love doing it. Ray, thank you so much for everything. Oh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. To keep in the loop for next year's tournament, watch the website langleyslowpitch.ca. And we're actually going to take you to Langley for our next feature. It's the home of the Earl's Test Kitchen, so get your forks ready to have a preview of their new fall menu. Essentially today is rolling out 10 brand new items. Uh, we've got a, uh, a brand new salad, which is a maple infused salmon salad that's got goat cheese, pumpkin seeds, and cranberries on top with a, obviously a maple infused salmon. Uh, we also have a gnocchi that's on with a tomato rosé sauce and uh, finished off with some Calvi premium olive oil and some burrata cheese. Uh, we also have a, a, a nice albacore tuna nachos. 
Any restaurant kitchen is busy, but try the Langley Earl's test kitchen the morning of a new menu rollout. Now that, that is busy. The, the true heart and, and soul of what the recipe was meant for. There's been so much, uh, so much planning, so much energy that's put into this. Uh, there was days that we got here at 6 a.m. and we left at 9.30 p.m. Just, just cooking nonstop, getting the training, getting feedback, tweaking things a little bit more. I love the texture of the, the caramelization on the outside. And Langley's Test Kitchen is one of six that's across Canada. Um, the idea between or by having a test kitchen is to test out all the new menu items that could potentially go on 62 restaurants company-wide. And they've chosen Langley because they feel that the customer demographic and taste reflects their market, and they take customer feedback seriously. During the whole testing process, it's, there's a lot of verbal to the server, and then a server will fill out a, a spreadsheet, uh, and then it's reviewed every, twice a day, every single shift, and we give that feedback to every single other test store and our product development team, basically real time. Keith Setter has been coming to this Earl's since it opened. He enjoys being one of the decision makers. The food's always consistent, always. Staff's always friendly. They used to ask things, and they wouldn't write it down, and they, they made it, it made a difference, because they'd come back two weeks later and said, by the way, we took your idea to the kitchen, and chef and I talked it over, and he agreed that was a little salty or a little vinegary. So, yeah, not so much important, just that we're part of the process, because we do eat here a lot. The new Earl's Fall menu will be available at all Earl's locations in October. I'm Erin Shaw in Langley for The Express. Right from our garden. The new menu is still in development and customers like Keith who visit the Langley location are able to give their feedback to the chefs. So I guess you can blame them if there's something you don't like. You're watching The Express and we have more of the new and some of the not so much coming up. If you just pour water on top of it. After the break, the eco-imagination of urban foliage. Behind the frame you have a water tank. It's fabulous that we have trees outside. Avatar Grove on Vancouver Island. I've been to a lot of old growth forests, but this one really is something unique. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.